Oh, a 4 0 win for Man City at home. No surprise against Southampton. Can anybody stop them? I'm not so sure. I think it's going to be more about can City stop themselves? You know, will City dry up as far as goals are concerned with Haaland, with Foden in particular, those two guys? It seems pretty unlikely. I think the only way that anybody competes with, with City is if they get a, just a, a, a crazy amount of injuries to defenders and forwards. I mean, there's not a flaw in this side. I, I can't see a flaw, really. Uh, yes, now and again, they'll go to sleep defensively. But, you know, that doesn't happen too often. And the fact is, the opposition, regardless of who it is, don't often get to get after Man City because Man City possess the ball so much. I mean, it's just a, a crazy situation where, what, nine games in, you're figuring this league could be over. Now, if you look at the table and you look at the points, it's not over. But there really isn't a side that, that, that can touch City at their best. Listen, if City are at their best, nobody in the Premier League is beating them. Nobody in, the, nobody in the Premier League is getting close to them. They've got so much firepower. I've already mentioned Haaland and I mentioned Foden. But you look at Cancela from fullback, scoring a fantastic goal today to get them on their way. And they've got goals all over the field. You know, De Bruyne. It, it seems it seems a little early to be talking about a team that may have already won the title because that's really not the truth. But the fact is, it's tough to see anybody competing with them for a whole season. We would normally be looking at City playing Liverpool next week as a mouth-watering prospect. But right now, things aren't going well for Liverpool. They're, they're struggling for... They're struggling for form as a unit, and individually they're struggling for form, particularly the so-called big guns. You know, Mo Salah, for me, I don't think is at his best. Uh, Virgil van Dijk certainly isn't his best. All the talk has been about Trent Alexander-Arnold, how he's struggling defensively. Uh, and Liverpool are, you know, they're giving op any opposition chances and goals. And if you're going to do that against Manchester City then you're going to be in, in, in big, big trouble. So Liverpool are going to have to have a complete turnaround between now and um, next weekend. Uh, otherwise, otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon for Liverpool, which, again, seems crazy to say. Four months ago, Liverpool, or five months ago, maybe, Liverpool were, were going for a quadruple. That seems a long, long way, a long, long time ago, should I say. Uh, so... Yeah, again, we're only talking about what we see on paper, and on paper, City are streets ahead of Liverpool. But you know what? When that whistle goes, sometimes things don't work out the way you think they should. Um, and that's kind of the only hope right now, I think, that Liverpool have. Southampton today, I think, probably got what he expected, and that was a comfortable defeat. And the truth is, nobody, including the manager of Hassan Hurtle and the board, I'm sure, were figuring today was going to go any other way. But the truth is, he's he's under pressure. Um, even before the ball was kicked, it was suggested that he was under pressure. Um, yeah, they're not in the bottom three, but you kind of get the feeling that it, it wouldn't be too long, the way they're playing and the way they're going, that they would be in the bottom three. And so you'd have to say that Hasen Hurtle really is under even more pressure than he was before the ball was kicked. Uh, and it seems unlikely that he's going to see the season out because I don't see them picking up that many points, certainly on the road they want, uh, and they have to do better at home. Otherwise, it's going to be a long, old season for them uh, and maybe not as long for Hassan Hüttel because if they keep losing like this, then uh, he might not be there for much longer. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.